Hi, welcome to Henry's How To. I'm going to show you how to block body lines today. First off, I want to pepper it with some bag coat. As you can see, I already have some on. It's nice and evenly distributed, and I want it nice and even. So I'll sand it nice and even. Um, one thing I forgot to do though, and the, the thing that I like doing is putting a little extra in the body line. So. I can make it a little more defined with the guide coat and it will give me a better read of what's going on. So, I load up the body line with a little extra guide coat and then I start to tape. Since we're going to be blocking the, the top half first, I'm going to tape the bottom side of the body line. You always want to side down the body line to ensure the tape's nice and straight. It doesn't have to be perfect, but straighter is better, obviously. Lower there. It's worth it taking a little extra time doing this because uh, there's nothing worse than finding out in a later stage that your body line is crooked. So take the time. I then begin to block up to the tape body line. After I'm done sending the top half, take off the tape and the bottom half, and then I tape the top half and sand the bottom half. Before I get started, I'd like to point out that the block that we used to sand up to the tape line up top isn't going to be the block that we use here. As you can see, this has curved too much for this block, but I like that straight edge that rides right up to the tape, so I'll use this block, and then I'll get it to ride right up to the edge. But the thing is, when you use this block, it doesn't get it all out right here, all the guy coat that is. So, after I define my edge, my body line edge with this, I'll come back with this. And this kind of just smooths it out. If I were to just use this one without this one, it wouldn't be as straight. So I like to throw some strokes in with this block as well. One of the last things I do before either repriming it or painting it so take off the tape off the body line and I'm left with little minuscule amounts of guide coat and then go over it with a soft block and sand them out very lightly there's a very small contact surface there so you want to make sure you sand it off very light Guys out there want to see a cool trick? See how this is lexing? Watch this. See that? All better now. And if you're wondering 
while we poke these holes right here. This is so the metal can breathe. The metal needs to breathe. And uh, that's what we're doing here. Over at Ned's. Ned's towing. There's nothing I can't fix. Looks like I forgot a spot right here. In episode two, I showed you how I got better gaps on my uh, rear deck lid. And uh, after some review, I realized it wasn't a very thorough explanation. And uh, there was some room for an improvement. I could have gotten it better. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, we're going to start all over. We're going to take out all of the shims. And uh, you and I together... We're going to try to get this thing going. First, what I do is I'll uh, loosen up all these bolts to the hinges, the hood hinges. And uh, since I don't have a gas tank in there, I go from underneath. Well, first I position it. Go from underneath and have a helper ensure that all our gaps are even, and then I'll tighten it. Um, if you don't have the gas tank out, obviously you got to have your little grunt guy in there. <laughs> yeah, give him some air, too. So, with no shims in the hinge, as you can see, it's clearly above the deck lid. So, uh, we're going to handle that first. Like that. Like that. And uh, some of the final adjustments were done like this. Right over here, you need to make some more adjustments. So, I just block the wood. Now, with no shims, we're pretty even here. We're pretty even here. As you can see, pretty even. Pretty even across there. Pretty even right here. As you walk along the side, looks pretty even there. And we're pretty even here.
Wow. You're getting a really good fit here. And you do the same for this side. Same side too. the end of the day we finally got this uh, corner in here it's gonna be a nice fit there's a little gap right here but that's nothing um, other than that it's pretty good to go did a little welding today we almost got it all shut uh, minus the plug welds and as you can see that gap that was right here is filled um, when you run your welder very hot and you turn it down for gaps like this, you're going to have great control because you're so used to welding with it hot.